Hi, my name is Jeffrey McCoy with McCoy Aeronautical Services in Dallas, Texas. I'm a FAA certificated airframe and power plant mechanic, IA pilot, and most important for your interest, designated mechanic examiner or DME for the North Texas FISDO office. I'm the individual that administers your FAA oral and practical examination to hopefully certificate you for your FAA airframe and power plant certificate. First question, what documents should I bring to the FAA interview? You will be required to have two copies of the 8610-2 form, which is the application to test. You will also be required to have your experience letter from your company, specifically on company letterhead, or if your experience is not through a company, but under the supervision of a certificated mechanic, a broken down letter of experience of the type of aircraft, systems, structures, and engines and components that you have maintained. You will need your current ID or passport. Those are the basic documents that you'll be required to have. What FAA experience requirements to become an FAA certificated AMP. For a single rating of either airframe or power plant, it's required for 18 months of hands-on practical experience or 30 months of hands-on practical experience for the dual rating of airframe and power plant. How do I document my experience and present it to the FAA? If you're working for a company, that maintains U.S. registered aircraft, you will need an experience letter on company letterhead, which lays out the type of aircraft, systems, structures, engines, and components that you have maintained for the 18 or 30 months of experience. If you have more than 30 months of experience, list all of your experience. You're just not limited to the 30 months. If it's not through a company and you're working under the supervision of a FAA certificated mechanic, same thing, an experience letter that lays out your experience that needs to be signed by the mechanic as well as their certificate number. There is no official format, but the most simple format is the breakdown by ATA codes. What can you expect with the inspector during your FAA interview? Be confident. Everybody is nervous when they interview with the FAA. Confidence is a key. Listen to his questions. Speak clearly. Speak concisely. One of the first questions that he will ask you when he meets you is, why are you here? Simple answer. I am here to interview test for the FAA a &P. One of the common errors or mistakes that applicants make when they come from countries where English is not the first language, when the inspector asks, why are you here? They answer something completely different. For instance, they may say, oh, well, I work for Boeing for eight years. When the inspector asks you, why are you here? That is his first part of his test to determine your English skills. Can you read, speak, write, and understand the English language? When he asks you that question, he's determining if he can, you can understand English language as he speaks. He will ask for your documents. He will ask for your identification. He can ask you anything over your experience. The inspector is not there to reject you. He is there to determine your experience requirements that you meet to test for the FAA AMP license. This is a common question that I'm asked. Is there a fee to interview with the FAA? When you interview inside the continental United States at a FISDO or IFO office, there is zero fee to interview. If you interview, for instance, many will interview with the Friends of Aviation outside of the United States and Mexico. The inspectors may charge a fee, but here in Dallas or at any FISDO inside the United States, there is no fee to interview. How do I make an appointment with the FAA Flight Standard District Officer FISDO? Addresses and telephone number for the FISDOs are on FAA.gov, but testing here in Dallas, I can make your appointment or we can make your appointment, but the appointment cannot be made until the foreign national form is completed, submitted, and your background check has been approved. Once that happens, I can contact you and we can make your appointment for your interview. Another common question, how often does the FAA change the knowledge or written exam questions 
and how can I find the changes? The FAA written or knowledge exams that you take at the computer test centers, those questions can be edited, updated, removed, or new ones added at any time in real time by the FAA. There are different study materials out there to prepare. They have updates that you can find on their websites through ASA or Jeppesen, or even on FAA.gov. The FAA does updates in July, October, and March every year. They can change a number of questions for any FAA test. You have to go on their website to find the changes. What is the length of time for the oral and practical, or how long could I expect to be testing on my O&P? There is no definite answer. Every examination is different. Every person is different when they test. No two people test the same way. One test may only take five to eight hours for one person, but another test may take longer or shorter for another person. Every test is different. The projects with the complexity or the lack of complexity can change the length of the test. Some people are very good at taking tests. Some have more knowledge, some have more skills, but there is no way to give a definite answer on how long your test will last. Where can I take the FAA written exams, also known as the knowledge exams? Some people refer to these as the computer exams. There are roughly 20 computer test centers in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. There are two computer centers that are very convenient that we utilize, and we can make the arrangements to set up your appointments so you can take your computer test. They are located near the hotels that we use, and it's extremely convenient for transportation. What is the best method and what are the proper materials that I use to prepare for the written examinations. There are two basic publishers out there that publish materials to help you prepare for the FAA knowledge or written exams. ASA, which some people know as Dale Crane, and Jeppesen. Both of them are they're both as equal to utilize. Some prefer Jeppesen, some prefer ASA Del Crane, but there is no real difference between them when it comes to preparation. You also have the ASA prepware that you can download from ASA's website where you can take practice tests and study sessions. Dauntless also makes a version to help you prepare. At this moment, those are the three main that you can utilize.